Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are reading Psalms 55. Kind of changing it up a bit with the lighting. Um, have my LED lights, and then I have my little lamp. I've been working, really, like, actually working on YouTube stuff for the past, like, uh, hour and a half or so. So I'm like, uh, I need to film. So anyways, so in today's video, we are reading Psalms 55. So you stop the video, read the chapter, and then... I'm pause and we can get into the notes. Now that you have hopefully done that, let's get into this video. I'm really excited because I've switched up a little bit of how I want to do my notes. So I have a lot more thoughts written down and I'm not just rambling. So, cause like, need to fix that. But also, yeah. Okay. Psalms 55 verse one, hear me. Listen to me, understand me. So this is lo the Lord telling David to listen to us. Um, we must listen to the Lord to understand how we can grow as Christians and in our faith and walk of life. So hearing God and reading him and listening to him in prayer is very, very important. The only person we should listen to is the one and only. There are a lot of fugazi people learning that at church. Um, basically, fugazi means false teachers, fake, like, preachers, and lots of lies. And they are basically people from the devil, and they're not, like, true Christians. And they come and say, I'm Jesus, I'm God, I'm the Father, and all that, which is not true. Um, they will, there will be false prophets and false teachers, but we should not listen to them. We can... We can acknowledge them and be like, yeah, I agree, but really, we're not agreeing. And then when we're done with that encounter, we should go and pray and pray that they know the true gospel. Um, verse number two, to hear me when I am in trouble. So basically, it's David's asking the Lord, hear me when I'm in trouble, like hear my prayer, hear my cry. And says the Lord will hear us in times of trouble. That's true the lord wants to know how our day was the good the bad and even the horrible so i did a video when will this video come out i don't know but if it's already out don't know if it's out yet um but look up on my youtube channel prayer slash journal because in that video i talk about how i pray and stuff and all of that and it's really interesting which i really really like and it talks about this especially and i really like that um, he is our rock. Whenever we're struggling, we should tell him so he can help us. So this is a lot what people at my church have been telling me because I've been sharing about my life and all that. And they're like, God is your best friend. He will help you through this and all of that. So it's been really enlightening. Um, verse number three, the evil puts trouble on me. So when we are in trouble and we feel bad, it's basically Satan. And we shouldn't give Satan that power. We should rebuke Satan by saying, Satan, you do not belong here in this room. You don't belong here near me or around me and the people that I care about because we belong to Lord Jesus Christ. Um, so basically, that's what verse 3 is. We're going to skip a little bit to verse 15. Let the pain and suffering come to the evil people. Basically, it's like letting the people who do not believe have the pain and suffering because they deserve it, not us. Um, the people who do not choose to follow Christ deserve all the pain and suffering because they have Satan. They believe in Satan without saying, oh, I wor worship Satan. Like, you shouldn't do that. You should worship only God, and he's the only one. Um, when people choose Christ, they won't feel pain. So when you have friends saying, like, oh, I'm like i feel so much pain you should be like you're following satan you're doing evil you should turn to christ because god christ doesn't give you pain he will give you some times of trials which will feel like satan but you got to stay faithful because that's god trusting testing your loyalty towards him um 16 i asked god to save me that's just really powerful and stuff so all of that um i have done this I've done this numerous of times. Like, I've asked God to save me in times of trouble, and I still do it. Like, I did it this week. Um, when we ask God to save us, he is saving us from Satan and the evil. 
So basically when we, I, that's kind of the similar to verse 15, kind of correlates with that. Like that is Satan. Believe it or not, that is Satan. So yeah, he will be the person who can help us in times of suffering. God will. Verse 22 says, put your pain on the Lord. When we put our problems to the Lord, he is the only person who can save us and who can help us. So that is pretty reassuring. Um, another way that can help us in times of in times of our pain is reading the Bible and um, praying to God. So I've been I've been working a lot in this. I've I have like my iPad here, like here. Let me show you guys like what I've been doing. Like, I found, like, a thing in where it talks about each Bible and the verses, and I'm taking notes and stuff of, like, what I've read, what I've not read. And I've read it quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, it's really good. This will be your best friend. This is the ESV study Bible. I feel like it's the best Bible because you learn so much. It's like a Bible with a commentary in it, so you don't have to do two books. But I do prefer a commentary, of course. Like, like that's me i like commentaries don't judge no it's just kidding but yeah here's something that literally is the best and all of that when we read the bible we are learning how to equip ourselves with equip ourselves with tools to help us in times of trouble so basically the bible is basically a toolbox and we're learning how to do it a good way is by memorizing verses and stuff and i'm gonna be like working on a list of like memorization memorization like things and stuff and all of that so yeah so some other notes that i have that are not really like elaborated on is god is the light he is the light the way and everything um if it wasn't an enemy why enemy we would not be hurt if there wasn't satan we would have literally a perfect world but we live in a fallen world because of satan and satan satan is really bad but sometimes the attacks from satan makes us stronger and shows our loyalty to god and saying that he's not the reason we did this so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video